Hi guys, happy homebrew Wednesday for September 17th, 2014. Cheers. As you can see, I got my intro filmed again, but I lost when my computer crashed. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm still going to probably be working on the ending. I don't know that I'll get it done before I post this video. For this week's uh, homebrew Wednesday, I'm drinking some of last year's plum wine. Uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, a little bit watered down. I had to add a lot of water to it last year, so, um, but it's still good. So what's been going on this week? Uh, besides work, uh, last Saturday, this last Saturday, I went out in the yard and uh, checked on my grapes and uh, lo and behold they were done because all the freaking squirrels and birds was eating them. So I went ahead and uh, harvested my grapes and uh, whipped up a batch of wine. It wasn't a traditional way that you do grapes because I don't have a wine press and I don't have a juicer. So I just kind of improvised this year hopefully uh, by next year's harvest I'll have a have a juicer at least so we can do it that way but anyway here's uh here's the video i shot on saturday from that okay guys here's the um harvest from the grapes that i have in my yard so uh we're gonna go ahead and uh de-stem those now i don't have a juicer or anything so we're just gonna improvise this year since uh but hopefully next year i can get some way to juice these so Right now I'm uh, just breaking them off the vines and putting them in a mesh bag in a pot. This is just kind of the process I'm using for now. We're just kind of improvising here. Just cleaning them all off the stems. We don't want a whole bunch of stems in there. It'll give you some off flavors and things, I would imagine. Okay, so there's all the grapes in the uh, mesh bag in the pot. We've got them all de-stemmed. There's all the stems in the trash. Okay, so now we're going to add three gallons of water to it. I'm going to bring it up to 180 degrees. And uh, we're going to mash all the grapes to get the juice out of them while it's heating up. Bring it up to 180 degrees to get it to pasteurize. We'll let that go at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes and then we'll pull it off the heat. Okay, here it is once we got the grapes all mashed up. As you can see, there's, there's still a few whole ones in there, but for the most part, we've got got some seeds floating on top there. Now we'll just bring it up to 180 degrees. Okay, here we are at 180 degrees. So we'll let it simmer at that temperature for 20 minutes. Okay, so our 20 minutes is up. I went ahead and tied the bag off with some sterilized string there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, let it, and cover it, and let it cool off. So we'll be back once it's cool to pour in the bucket. So now that it's all been pasteurized, anything that it touches has got to be sanitized. So we're going to go ahead and sanitize our bucket, sanitize all of our equipment. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Okay, to our sanitized bucket we're going to add 8 pounds of sugar to start. So let's we'll dump that down in there. And then we'll uh, see where our gravity's at once we get it all mixed together. Okay, so we got our sugar in there, and now we're adding a, a gallon of cool water to help cool this off because it's still warm. We want it to be warm to help sterilize the sugar and stuff. So now that we got that in there, We'll go ahead and dump our must into there. Okay, now we've got it in there. We're going to mix it for a while. OK, 
Okay, and once we get it mixed up, we're going to take a hydrometer reading. We're at 1.090, which is about 11.5% alcohol content potential. So we'll go ahead and leave it there. Okay, now that we've got it mixed up and we've got our uh, hydrometer reading where we want it, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, potassium metabisulfite. This is just to kill off any nasties that might be left in there. There shouldn't be anywhere we uh, pasteurized it, but just to be safe. And then we're going to add six teaspoons of acid blend. So we'll make it five teaspoons. We'll start there. And then we're going to mix it really well again. And then once we got that, we're going to go ahead and put our bag with our grape peels and things in it, that down into the must. juice that we had in the bottom here. We'll let that float in there for to get the tannins and stuff out of the out of the grape skins. Okay and there it is down in our uh, primary fermenter. So uh, all that's left to do now is we'll put our sanitized lid and airlock on it and we're gonna let it sit until tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so here it is the next day. We're going to go ahead and uh, give it a stir here. Got my sanitized spoon here. And we're just going to kind of mix it up. Move that bag around a little bit. So I did take another hydrometer reading just now that it's cooled off all the way. That's at 1.092. So now we'll go ahead and pitch our yeast. Okay, so we've got our Red Star Monache yeast. We'll go ahead and uh, sprinkle that on the top here. Try and sprinkle it evenly over the top. And now we'll just cover it up and let her ferment. Okay, so here it is after 24 hours. Go ahead and uh, take a peek in there. Got my sanitized spoon here. And we're gonna push this down into the must. Just kind of mix things up. And we're going to repeat this process for, oh, five days or so. Okay, now we'll just cover it up and wait 24 more hours and do that again. Here it is 48 hours later. Since we pitched the yeast, it's just chugging away. Okay, so there you have it. The uh, new brew house is officially a brew house now, so cheers to that. Also, I'd uh, like to give a shout out to Bill with uh, Brewing with Bill. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, please go check out his channel and subscribe. Great guy. Uh, I had a few questions, and he's been brewing a little longer than me, so uh, I shot him a, a text, and uh, we chatted back and forth a little bit, and, uh, and I took on some of his ideas, and we kind of put our heads together, and that's the way we come up with that batch of wine. So. We'll see how it turns out. She's uh, in the background now, just chugging away. So, uh, only time will tell now. Uh, another thing I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I know I don't do it enough, but uh, thank you, you guys. Uh, I'm almost up to 350 subscribers now, so it'll be competition time soon again. Uh, once I hit 400, I think we'll do another competition. So, uh, big shout out to all you guys. 
thanks for subscribing watching and uh, commenting on my videos I really appreciate it if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be doing it so cheers to all you guys so now as you can see it looks like we're uh, finally headed in the right direction getting some brewing done I was hoping for my first batch to be a batch of uh, beer all you guys have uh, been wanting me to do some beer I have all the stuff to do it but uh, it just happened to be time for the grapes and the animals kind of dictated what I was going to brew this week so uh, sorry about that hopefully we can get a batch of beer done here in the next week or two uh, but it was either brew up the grapes this time or let them go to waste and I didn't want to let them go to waste so we went ahead and uh, threw that brew together so uh, that's about it for me this week guys uh, I'll be watching for your videos to go up over the next few days and uh, I'll be commenting on those just like you guys do for me. Uh, I always read all my comments and I try to uh, make sure I write back to every comment and question that I get. Thanks again guys and uh, remember there's always time for a glass of wine. Cheers.